up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're here at Bergen County Harley Davidson. We're gonna be doing side-by-side -side comparison. I got my main man. The side-by-side -side comparison is gonna be me and Sergio. <laughs> we got the 2022 Low Rider S in that gunship gray, looking just beautiful, beautiful. And then behind me, we also have the 2022 Street Bob in that gauntlet gray, which also looks really, really nice. So perfect comparison. Um, Sergio here. If you guys are in the market for a bike, come see Sergio. Talk to him. He'll hook you up. So let's get down to business, right? You guys have been requesting this video for some time now. Uh, the comparison of these both bikes because let's be honest when you guys when anyone's out there on the market looking for a soft tail model these two bikes are obviously the most popular these two bikes are going to be the ones you're going to be looking at and going over obviously these two bikes are very very different the street bob is more of a bobber type of bike uh, with a bobbed out fender in the back um, and then the Lowrider S is, is his own thing, his own identity. Really happy that for this year, the Street Bob comes with the mag wheels. Uh, as we all know, the Street Bob always came with the spoke wheels. Um, but this year we have the nice option of these beautiful mag wheels. Um, and they come out all blacked out, which makes the bike look a lot, lot nicer. Um, the mag wheels on the Lowrider S, obviously with that bronze color, which is the Lowrider S theme all the time, um, looks really, really good. Um, you got the 114 on the Street Bob as well. And then for the first time, we have the 117 on the Low Rider S here. So obviously a big, big, huge difference when it comes to the horsepower on both bikes. Both bikes are now punching out a ton of, ton of horsepower, ton of torque. Um, way different from before when the Low Rider S had the 114, which was what my bike has. And then the uh, Street Bob had the 107 before as well. The Low Rider S comes with inverted front forks, which gives you a lot more comfort when riding, a lot more nimble. Um, it's easier for you to get more aggressive with your riding. Um, and then it comes with this little cow fairing in the front, which is not gonna, you know, do a big justice uh, if you're looking for wind protection, but it's nice, it's a nice addition, it looks good, and it's, it's, it's gonna stop a little of that wind to go up in there, right? We have a different bar setup on the Street Bob. This is more of a bobber style type of bike, so we've got those mini apes here, which feel really good from factory. They feel really comfortable. Um, so if you're not gonna want to spend a whole ton of money getting into a bike right away, I think the Street Bob is the right way to go because it comes with that nice height on everybody and you feel really comfortable they did a really good job with that on the low rider s we got that four inch riser now um different with the digital well not digital it's just an analog now big huge difference from past years when both analogs were on the tank this year they did one analog, they put it right in front of you. A lot of people were complaining that they had to look down. I was one of those people that I find myself sometimes looking down at my gauges, um, and then I gotta take my eyes off the road. So this year, they put it right in front of your face. Really looks good. I kind of prefer my gauges though. I just think it adds a little bit more umph to my tank. It's just more the design, it looks really good. Um, but this doesn't look bad. It looks really good. And for those of you guys that, have, that like having the gauges right in front of you, this is gonna work. Now, talking about the power, the Street Bob's gonna give you around 119 foot-pounds of torque, and the Low Rider S is gonna give you around 125 foot-pounds of torque. Obviously, a huge difference on both engines. Um, I really like the big air cleaner that they added in for this year with the 117. It looks good, it performs better, and it just gives the bike more of an aggressive feel. Um, it just, it, it, it looks good. They, they did a lot to this bike that I wish they had done on my bike. Obviously the air cleaner is one. The taller suspension in the back as well. Um, it's at least an inch and a half taller than the one on my bike, which is the 2020 Low Rider S. So it gives you a nice little gap in the back. Um, more lean angle at that. This bike is gonna give you a lot more, uh, about three inches more, two and a half inches more of a lean angle than the Street Bob is gonna give you as well. Both bikes are gonna come set up with that two and a two. Um, I, I really don't know why Harley Davidson isn't doing a two and a one yet from factory on the Lowrider S, being that this is more performance type of bike, though is the Street Bob itself. Um, but at the end of the day, we also do get rid of the stock exhaust, so eh. Both bikes are also gonna come set up one up 
Um, if you do want to have a passenger on your bike, obviously you're going to go aftermarket and get yourself a two-up seat. Um, but Harley Davidson also does have pillion seats, which on the street bar right here, you can see in the back, it looks really nice. Um, nice texture, really, really, really nice seat actually. Is it the most comfortable seat? No, it's not. But it, for this type of style of a bike, it, it just fits it perfectly. Moving on to the gas tank, the Street Bob is gonna have the 3.5 gallon gas tank, while the Low Rider S is gonna have the five gallon gas tank. So obviously this bike is gonna be the one you're gonna wanna take on those longer miles, uh, longer rides, as opposed to the Street Bob, where you're gonna be having to stop here and there just to fill up. Um, they're both gonna equal around the same gas mileage, it's also around 47 miles per gallon is where you get at each bike is here. So obviously here with a five gallon gas tank, a lot more miles. I've been able to get around 200 and 14, 207 miles on my bike, depending on how you're riding. If I want a baby, I could honestly get a lot more than that. Uh, but riding it the way I ride it, that's around why I've gotten it. I've gotten around 180 out of it before too. So it all depends on how you ride your bike. Coming away to the back right here, you see a huge difference. So you're gonna have a full fender on the low rider S right here, which I'm a huge fan of. You're gonna have the Bob Dow fender on the Street Bob. Both look really good. I honestly just prefer a full fender. So even if I had a Street Bob, I would probably do a conversion kit and I get a full fender on here. I've seen a ton of people do it before and it looks really, really good. You're gonna have LED lighting here for the rear light on the lower battery rest. Um, no LED turn signals yet, Harley Davidson 2022 still, so no LED turn signals for the back of these bikes. But the front of the bikes are gonna have the same exact light, uh, LEDs for the front, and it's the same exact uh, light on both bikes, so they look really nice. Now when it comes to the body position, this bike right here, the low rider is gonna give you more of an upright position. The Street Bob is more of a stretched out position. You're gonna be uh, leaning and holding onto those bars uh, more than what you'll be on here. I'll get on the bike in a few minutes and I'll show you guys exactly how I look standing on each bike because I'm pretty sure you guys wanna see that. You really gotta think about all the little details that goes into each different bike. They are so similar, but yet again, so different. The gauge right here, this is really nice. So it's both digital and it's just regular analog. So you're able to see your RPM, your speed down below, your gear. Your, everything is cramped up right there into one, which looks really, really nice. Now on the Street Bob, there's gonna be a lot different. The Street Bob is gonna have this tiny little digital uh, gauge right here. This is actually the same gauge that you're gonna see now on the Lowrider ST models. Um, that's the one that they put on that bike. And honestly, it's not hard to see during the daytime. The sun does not block it, it's very easy. And you would think, hey, it's kind of small. It's gonna be very hard for me to see, but it's not. You're able to, everything's pretty visible. Your gears, your RPMs, any signs uh, that you're gonna have down here, your turn signals. Everything's gonna be really, really clear for you to see. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sit on this bike, show you guys how I look. Um, if you wanna, wanna know how tall I am, I'm not too tall, I'm more on the shorter end. I'm about 5'7 on a good day. So yes, I'm still able to flat foot this bike, so it fits me very comfortable. So if you're more on the shorter end like I am, um, don't be afraid, don't feel intimidated. Uh, the bike feels really, really good. Um, as far as controls go, they're both gonna have mid controls on both bikes. They both feel really good. So as you can see right here, I have a slight bend to my knee right here. I'm not scrunched up all the way up, but for you taller riders out there, six, three and up, you are gonna feel a bit more, uh, a bit more scrunched up on this bike. On my low rider ass, I have gone out and I switched out um, my foot pack. So they actually, they feel a bit lower than the stock ones do. And I switched a lot of things out on that bike. I'll put it side by side next to this bike at the end of the video. So you guys see a huge difference on what you can turn this bike into. Obviously my style, more of a club style type of bike. Um, but as far as visibility now with the gauge, it's literally right in front of me as opposed to me looking down when I have both gauges here, which I have on my bike, like I mentioned before. This is right dead on right in front of you. Um, and it's, it's real visible. Everything is, I, I really like the way they did this. I would have preferred for them to do two gauges. One gauge is okay, but two I think would have looked really, really cool. Um, it's just what I would have done. But this is this is fine, man. It looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and sit on the street bop here. Like I said before, this is more of a stretched out type of feel. So as you can see here, my arms are a bit more stretched out than what I was on there. Um, but still a real comfortable position, same mid controls, um, and they fall, they both feel great. What about this gas tank that I really like a lot? It's a smaller gas tank for a reason. It's just the way 
the lines on this bike flow. It's a very minimalistic type of bike. Um, this bike, obviously here, looking a bit more aggressive than what this is. This bike is not meant for that. Uh, even though this bike is turned into one of those aggressive bikes at times, and it's so customizable, because you'll see both bikes with the same club style look on either bikes. But this, if you wanna, if you wanna have this bike more as a bar hopper, more around a town, a town type of bike, this is the perfect bike for you right here. Um, the gators in the front, uh, I don't mind them. It's just like I said before, they kind of serve no purpose. Uh, but yeah, they're. They're, they're there. Now, a huge difference that you're also gonna see in these bikes is that this bike here comes with dual disc front brakes. This one only comes with one disc in the front. Now, for the average person, you're really not gonna feel that much of a difference, but for a type of rider who, you know, who's really rides very aggressive and is constantly on the brakes and the twisties, this bike is gonna have a lot more bite uh, than that one. Obviously, the two disc brakes make it a huge, huge difference. Now when it comes to controls, controls are going to be the same thing on both bikes here. Um, none of them come with cruise control, the only bike that's going to come with cruise control, if you want that, it's going to be the Low Rider ST, um, that one comes from factory. But, talking about that, you can also add cruise control to these bikes, so Harley Davidson could add that onto you, go to your local dealer, and if this you really want, then they could definitely add that onto you. It's not much of a cost. Um, I've actually thought about adding it onto my bike in the past, and I'm still thinking about doing that to this day right now. If I don't end up trading for a low rider ST. Now, another cool little feature that I forgot to mention about these bikes that they're both gonna have it is that they're both gonna have the USB port, so you're able to plug in your phone, plug in your cameras, whatever it is. It's a pretty cool idea. So when you're on the road and your phone dies, put it in charge on your bike while you're riding, and it, uh, it works really well. All right, so you're probably wondering which bike would I pick? Um, I know that's tough. I'm the type of the right person to be asking that because I'm just even though I really like the Street Bob, I think the Street Bob is an amazing bike. I'm just at heart, I'm just a lowrider S guy. Like I had a I got my lowrider S, I had a Diner lowrider, um, and I still kind of want an FXR lowrider as well. So I'm just a lowrider guy at the end. Um, I would pick this bike any day. A more power, more brake. I like the full fender in the back. It's a bit more customizable. Um, they're both customizable, but this one's just so much more you could do with this bike. Um, the lean end one here as well. Um, that taller shock in the back. Uh, they really did a good job with that taller mono shock in the back for this year. It feels really, really good. It's the same mono shock you're gonna find on the Lowrider ST. I spent a lot of time on that bike when I was out in California, and I, I honestly, I've never really had that much complaints on my 2020 Lowrider. S when it comes to suspension, but let me tell you that it's upgraded drastically. You can really, really feel a big difference now. It's more plush. It just feels a bit more dialed in than what my bike feels. Um, so yeah, like me, honestly, I would I would pick the Lowrider S over the Street Bob any day. Sergio, I want I want to get your take. So you come in here because I know you're kind of in the market, maybe so-so for a bike. Looking at both these bikes right here. What do you like about this bike, and what do you like about this bike, or vice versa? What would you pick? I think I'm in the same with you. Um, I had a Street Bob, I had a Dyna, I had a 2016, but the low rider, I just I want power, um, the bigger tank to go longer on longer rides, and I feel like you can just customize this so much more. You know, looking at your 2020, that's what my bike would look like. Yeah. <laughs> So it could be yours if I sell it to you. Mm. <laughs> I don't need to get divorced yet. <laughs> we're gonna bring my bike over right now. We're gonna put it side by side to this one so you guys can see a nice comparison of what you know. If you are in the market for this bike, what well, you can transform this bike into and make it look like if that's the type of route you want to take. I think we pretty much covered everything. Like I said before, I really like the Street Bob. I'm a huge fan of the Street Bob. I think it's a great bike. Um, and if you are coming off from a Sportster, these are the two bikes you're gonna be looking at. Sure. If you're looking for a secondary bike and you have a bagger right now, you want something smaller, these are the type of, these are the two bikes you're gonna be looking at from the get. Um, I get, it, it, I think it's pretty safe to say that when it comes to soft tail lineup, these are probably the most popular Absolutely. bikes out there. Can't keep them in stock. I keep don't know. in, they're out. Exactly. I was afraid we weren't gonna be able to do the video. Every day that went by, I was like, oh, it's gonna sell. I know. <laughs> Um, that's pretty much it. We're gonna put my bike right here next to this one, show you guys what that looks like, and keep it moving from there.
All right, so as you can see here, we got the 2022 Lowrider S. My 2020 Lowrider S. I've done a ton of stuff to this bike, guys. And there's, there's still a lot more that I still want to do to it, but you can kind of see where this is bone stock and where you can take it off. So we got the LaPara bags out here with a TBR 201. We got a Stage 1 SNS air cleaner, the Method Shades, um, Farron in the front, San Jose Customs, 8 inch risers. We got Galfer rotors on there, Moose MC, tail light at the end. I got rid of my turn signals because I just, I like the look, the clean look of the fender like that. Um, laid down play holder, the LaPara uh, seat here in the back. We got um, the crash bar in the front, the flow foot pegs, um, just a ton of little stuff here and there. But it's a fun bike, it's an amazing bike. I absolutely love this bike. And even today, like I just, I've been spending a lot of time on my 2021 Road Glide Special, and this bike hasn't gotten enough love lately. But today I took it out and it just really put a smile on my face. Now, I did post a video yesterday. Uh, but the, the factory being suspended for two weeks. Um, so Sergio says you work here at Bergen. Yes. What can you tell us a little bit more about this and can we be scared about this? Or yeah. not? Um, I wouldn't be too worried, just so you guys know, we do have at least 50 brand new 2022s in stock right now. We also have at least 60 used bikes in stock. Um, one thing about this area is we do stock our dealership really well. We have over a million dollars in parts, accessories, and motor clothes. So don't be too scared. Go to your local dealer here at Bergen County Harley. Um, we have what you need and um, we're here for you. So you just let us know. Hey guys, huge thank you to Sergio and huge thank you to Bergen County for allowing me to do this today. Give you guys a little treat. Um, it's gonna be it. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And if you are in the market and you're looking for a new or used Harley Davidson, come to Bergen. It's the busiest and biggest dealership around this whole tri-state area. So like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Do the ride, baby. Peace. Thanks. Another cool feature, if you didn't know about these bikes, is that they're both gonna have uh, the blah, 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 blah. What do they have? Hey. Take two. <laughs> Take two. Now another cool, blah. Mm. Three. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. We are here at Bergen County Harley-Davidson. Here with my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take you no more. Twenty-two? Yeah, you said twenty-one, but it's twenty-two. I said twenty-one? Twice. <laughs> Take two. <laughs>